Dear Hillsborough High School, these have been the craziest two years we've ever seen. A virus that was once a rumor from across the world became our instant reality. Officials now say more than 400 people have been sickened and nine people have died. Two weeks, we thought. Would that be enough to shake it? We nor the world had any idea what we were getting into. Climbing and climbing, the numbers rose. The news erupted. Panic everywhere. Toilet paper is gone. <coughs> Did he just cough? Guns out. Why must he be fought? People started saying, stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. No, no, no. What about plans? Summer, our vacation. What about my friends? What about school? That was the first time I thought about school. Phones, yes. Finally, a solution. Our problems are solved. Get your books and pencil and we're ready to learn and... No one is here. I mean, not really. Our perception of time became lost. But hey, finally, 2021 and we're back. Wait, this is and isn't the same. We were used to shorter days, why are they longer? Back to paper, didn't you teach us typing? I don't even remember what it's like to learn. And you want to move on? I don't even have the hallways figured out. I mean, what do these murals mean? Take a moment for a second. After everything we have been through, what better time than now to change? I know we're not perfect, but can we at least do something different? Hell, I can't even see your face anymore, if not on a screen. Sometimes I think virtual learning was better, at our own pace. But cheating became our enemy, while for some it was their only option. But let me tell you, for the first time ever, we have all gone through the same experience. Isolation, struggle, and falling behind. We need to stop this competitive climb and figure out a better way to learn effectively and reflectively. An ever-evolving solution that will grow through the passage of time. A solution that inspires minds to think creatively, innovatively, critically, and the focus on working together because we need that right now in this dystopian future. Do you know what I see? I see an opportunity. What if this education system focused on the love of learning rather than the results of learning? This constant climb has created a hierarchy. I see a future where there is no need to cheat. What if teachers, instead of grueling tests, gave you projects? For those falling behind, rather than blindly moving on, allow redos. I know this wasn't what you asked, but this is a new generation. Stereotypically, school is imagined as a prison. What if it was a sanctuary? I see the blank hallways turn into color. In this future, I see that clubs and student councils are not only used for individual events, but are unified to uplift student voices to actively change this community. This is about motivation. But what can you do? We as students can work together to make this easier for all. This may sound cheesy, but vote for student council. Call upon those who passionately stand out, who will fight for what they believe in. I also implore you to join a club. If you can like we are, we're having a union of clubs where all the clubs come together to represent the students of our school to make real changes. So next time, if you ever think, God, this school sucks, remember 2020. Remember this talk and think to yourself, even when a seed breaks, that's exactly when it's time to grow. So are you going to continue the problem or are you going to be part of the solution?